I've been a um, sewer and craftsperson all my life. I have a background at the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City, and I got my undergraduate degree from the University of Tennessee in textiles and apparel. And I had a practice marriage, <laughs> and then I uh, married the man that I'm married to now, who had property up in Rensselaerville. So when we got married, I left Columbia County and came to Rensselaerville. And probably the biggest impact on our lives was when Hurricane Irene hit in 2011. And we were kind of stranded on the mountain while everybody else was, you know, having difficulties with their homes and everything being flooded. So one day I went down into the village of Middleburg and Bill Morton was there and he had designed a beautiful mural and was looking for other projects, other buildings and so forth that he could, you know, do more murals on to bring tourism back to Schoharie County. So I said to him, you know, if you really want to do something that's spread out throughout Schoharie County, not just concentrated on Middleburg, you might want to do quilt blocks because there is an American quilt trail movement that was started by Donna Sue Groves in Ohio. So he doesn't really know that much about quilting, so he said, well, that's a good idea, Jenny. Why don't you chair it and let's see where it goes? So then we formed a committee of five additional people, and through that we spoke to every civic organization that we could think of and uh, you know, promoted it every time we talked to somebody and said, you know, we want to do quilt blocks and so forth and so on. So as we focused, we found out that the best designs were either eight foot square or four foot square. And we got this wonderful donation from Benjamin Moore Paint Company. They gave us the paint and they gave us the primer of our choice enough to do the first 20 blocks. So that really helped us financially to float the first blocks that we were doing. And then as we did some fundraising, we were able to do some advertising. So the quilt blocks are done either by the individual, in which case they can buy their own materials as long as they go buy our specs, or if they don't have time to do it, which a lot of businesses don't, then they can donate the money to the Quilt Barn Trail, and we do have our own account, and then volunteers will paint the blocks. It's just like any other hobby that somebody has. If somebody's particularly interested in the architecture of barns, they might go out where they can see the barns and photograph them. People who are interested in the quilt blocks, you know, will follow the trail and, and take pictures of them. So we started out and we were going to have a quilt barn trail, but with over a hundred blocks either done or in the process, it's really too much for any person to do in a day, which is a good thing because if people use the uh, bed and breakfasts or the hotels or whatever, it contributes to the revenue of Schoharie County, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing.